Hi, I'm Danica Fine with Confluent, here to tell you all about the latest Confluent Platform 7.1 release. Streaming data has become critical to the success of modern businesses. Leveraging real-time data is what enables companies like Instacart to set themselves apart, delivering the rich digital experiences and data-driven backend operations that delight customers. For the many businesses that operate across a multitude of on-prem data centers and cloud providers, unlocking these digital initiatives requires sharing high-quality, consistent data streams between environments. In Confluent Platform 7.0, we introduce cluster linking to provide the best way to bridge on-prem and cloud environments, allowing data to flow in real time in a simple, secure, reliable, and cost-effective manner. This democratized access to real-time data throughout the organization, giving teams self-service access to the data wherever it resides through global data sharing. Operating with connected clusters across environments introduces an increased need for globally enforced standards around data quality. Each new linked cluster brings with it the challenge of maintaining data compatibility and regulatory compliance with information security policies. The problem is that creating a consistent data layer that satisfies the needs of a modern business is challenging due to data sprawl resulting in silos, not having common standards enforced across different environments, the inability to scale to demand, and prohibitive data storage expenses. To truly unlock data for next generation digital initiatives, development teams and data experts need access to a scalable, globally resilient data mesh that can easily and quickly deliver trusted, compliant data across all environments. With the release of Confluent Platform 7.1, we're building on top of the innovative feature set announced in recent releases, providing several enhancements that allow companies to harness trusted, quality data across all environments with speed, scale, and stability. Confluent Platform 7.1 delivers three primary benefits to enable this vision. First, it ensures globally consistent data across hybrid environments with shared schemas that sync in real time. It also improves scale and speed while maintaining operational simplicity with increased DevOps automation and expanded tiered storage options. And finally, it brings enhanced reliability and global resilience with additional intelligent alerts and multi-region capabilities for containerized environments. Additionally, the enhancements delivered as part of Confluent Platform 7.1 reinforce our differentiation across the everywhere, cloud-native, and complete pillars. Let's go into the details of each of these new features. Supporting our everywhere pillar, we're announcing the general availability of schema linking, which provides an operationally simple means of ensuring globally consistent data across hybrid environments with shared schemas that sync in real time. As I said, Confluent Platform 7.0 brought cluster linking, enabling you to easily link clusters together to form a highly available, consistent, and real-time bridge between on-prem and cloud environments. But operating connected clusters across environments introduces an increased need for globally enforced standards to maximize data quality. This is where schema linking comes into play. Schema linking allows you to maintain trusted, compatible data streams across hybrid and multi-cloud environments by sharing and syncing consistent schemas between independent clusters in real time. Schema linking provides two new concepts which create a simple interface to interact with schemas and keep them in sync. First, schema contexts are an independent grouping of schema IDs and subject names, allowing the same schema ID in different contexts to represent completely different schemas. This helps to facilitate the transfer of schemas from source to destination. Second, schema exporters act as mini connectors for schemas between different environments, making it easy to move schemas from one cluster to another. For cloud native, we're introducing Confluent for Kubernetes version 2.3, which increases global resiliency with multi-region cluster support and enhances the API with declarative management for user-provided connectors and schema links. With the introduction of Confluent for Kubernetes last year, users were able to build their own private cloud Kafka service using a complete declarative API to deploy and operate Confluent. In this latest release, we're introducing support for multi-region clusters, enabling customers to build a globally resilient architecture while also realizing the cloud-native benefits that come from deploying on Kubernetes. With this addition, Confluent for Kubernetes now supports the full feature set of Confluent Platform, so customers no longer have to choose between the intelligent API-driven operations of Confluent for Kubernetes and any other Confluent Platform feature that's critical to their use case. Additionally, we're enhancing the API in two ways. 
First, we're now providing support to declaratively configure and manage user-provided connectors that can be installed and deployed automatically. Second, complementing the release of schema linking, we're also adding schema links to the list of components that can be declaratively defined and managed to simplify operations and accelerate time to value with self-managed Confluent clusters. Also in the cloud native pillar, we've expanded options for tiered storage to bring cloud native scale and maximize data retention on-prem. Tiered storage was introduced in Confluent Platform 6.0, enabling Kafka to recognize two layers of storage, local storage on the broker, as well as more cost-efficient object storage to which the broker can offload older topic data. In Confluent Platform 7.1, we're introducing expanded options for long-term object storage on Nutanix, NetApp, MinIO, and Dell. This allows more of our customers to take advantage of the elasticity, operational, and performance benefits of tiered storage, bringing Confluent Cloud's intelligent two-tier storage engine on-prem. We've also put these systems through rigorous performance and quality testing while building strong relationships with the vendor to allow for better customer support. Finally, for the complete pillar, we're introducing new Health Plus alerts around broker latency, connectors, and CaseSQL DB to reduce the risk of downtime. These additional alerts will help to identify and avoid issues before they result in costly downtime by using Confluence library of expert tested rules and algorithms. Broker latency alerts can detect anomalies in broker latency to make sure you're well within your expected operating SLAs. Connector alerts can ensure reliable integration between Kafka and common external systems by proactively monitoring the state of your connectors. In addition to Health Plus alerts, we're also including several enhancements for KSQL DB, such as pull queries on streams and custom schema selection. In previous releases of KSQL DB, pull query functionality was only supported on tables and not streams. Because of this limitation, searching for a subset of individual messages within a Kafka topic for debugging purposes required using a low-level consumer. With the added support for pull queries on streams, developers no longer have to rely on low-level consumers and can instead focus on more value-added tasks. KSQL DB also now supports custom schema selection, bringing more options and control when using schema registry. By default, KSQL DB automatically generates schemas for streams and tables based on the latest registered schemas for the input topic. With this update, you can have KSQL DB use a specific schema ID when you create your new stream or table, rather than the latest registered schema. This allows you to specify a particular output schema for persistent queries when creating materialized views. Also keep in mind that we're adding a number of new features which are a part of KSQL DB 0.23, supporting the ability to read metadata stored in Kafka record headers, enabling access to record partition and offset data, optimizing concurrently executed push queries, and more. Following the standard for every Confluent release, Confluent Platform 7.1 is built on the most recent version of Kafka, in this case, Apache Kafka version 3.1. That Kafka release shipped with a ton of great KIPs, extending SASL OAuth bearer to support OIDC, adding new, more consistent latency metrics, and enabling custom partitioners for foreign key joins and Kafka streams. Check out our Apache Kafka 3.1 release video to learn more about these new features. So that's Confluent Platform 7.1 in a nutshell. Download the latest version and let us know what you're building.